Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. But before I begin, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you can know when my next video uploads. And if you like the video, come down in the comment section so we can have a conversation. And I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. So before I begin, I would like to say anything that I say is alleged, in my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Hey everybody, welcome to my review of Love and Marriage DC, Season 2, Episode 5, Street Fighters. So we continue with little Jamie being surprised by Brittany that his mom and dad are over there with the granny. Um, Brittany invited them over because she says she's tired of having to meet with each one of them individually. And they're going to put everything out on the table today okay she said if anybody has a problem with it they know how to walk out that dough okay listen Brittany seems like she ain't one to be played with okay so big jamie's goes first and asks little jamie where is he at in his life and that he still lives lives with them and that they know that they are to blame for some of the things that little jamie is going through so Brittany starts clapping and says thank you for taking accountability arena wants to know what can they do to make little Jamie life better? So little Jamie said he needs a job, but he don't know what he wants to do right now. So big Jamie gets emotional because he just wants to see the best for his son. He feels like everybody wants better for him more than he does. So Arena talks about the text that little Jamie sends to her and she's worried about him harming himself. And she also said that she's tired of the roller coaster between Big Jamie and Little Jamie. And she wants Little Jamie to express herself and speak what's on his mind. Little Jamie doesn't open up. So Big Jamie suggests that, you know, they talk to a therapist. And if they don't want to talk to a therapist, he put out the ultimatum that he's going to have to move out. Looks at Arena and tell Arena, you may not like this, but this is what's going to happen. Okay. So little Jamie said he doesn't want to talk to a therapist. He gets upset and walks away. He feels like he's the problem child. They make him feel like he's the scum of the earth. So big Jamie said that talking to a therapist is not about him. It's not about little Jamie. And I agree. I feel like everybody would benefit from going to see this therapist. But little Jamie also feels like the family always make him feel bad. So they talk to him and let him understand that what's going on is not just affecting him it's affecting the whole family and i feel like when the big sister talked to him when britney talked to him he really got it um this scene for me was really a good scene because um i feel like the father and the son really needed to get together like the father don't know how to communicate to the son the son shuts down once the father starts talking because the father comes at him the wrong way but anyway it was a good scene. I have to say, like, the scene had me crying. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. But anyway, we move on to Winter and Sherelle meeting up. And Winter is looking for locations to have her romancipation, which is a party to celebrate her divorce. Whatever, girl. Winter wants the other ladies to come, but she wants Sherelle to invite them to facilitate a mediation. But in her confessional, or I don't even think it was in the confessional, she called them a football team. And I'm like, you want mediation, but you study them and shade at them? Like, I don't even understand. Sherelle says she wants to talk to Joy after what Irena told her about Joy calling her husband Shady. Winter says she has always maintained that Irena plays both sides and is messy. Oh, God, this is just going to be a whole mess of back and forth, back and forth between these ladies. But whatever. It's a show. It's a reality show. They got to have drama. So I get it. So we move on to the Silvers. Um, they're sitting down talking and we find out that Quick is getting a street named after him, a street that he grew up on named after him. They talk about the son getting suspended. And here goes Quick. He bringing up little Jamie, talking about how little Jamie got in trouble and there were no repercussions. So he don't want that for his son. As if Raina and Jamie ain't intervene and in trying to get Jane, little Jamie on their, the right track. I don't think it's fair that he's talking about other people's children and their parenting. I feel like you need to worry about you and your family. Because if the tables were turned, would you like people talking about you and the way you parent your child? Like, come on, that's not fair. So Sherelle meets up with Joy. Um, it's the different wigs for me with Sherelle. Like, what is going on? 
like she be looking different in each wig. Like she's a chameleon. Okay. Um, Sherelle lets her know that Arena said that she called her husband block shady. And Joyce says she did not use those words. Then we find out that the group Mambo Source had a great deal on the table, but her husband messed it up because he wanted two members from the old group, from the group that left the group to come back. And he said, if he's, if they don't come back, he's not going to be a part of it. And it fucked up the deal. I think that was stupid, but whatever. Like people make choices in life and, and this is the shit that happens. So Joyce said this meeting was pointless and she really don't care that Sherelle needs clarity. And I agree. I feel like the conversation should have been had between Sherelle's husband and Joy. And if the other parties, significant others was there, then fine. Anyway, we move on to Jamie and little Jamie going to therapy with the Dr. Cunningham. It's their first counseling session. Big Jamie feels like because he was in law enforcement that he was really strict on the children. And the doctor told Big Jamie that, you know, as him as the older adult, he could have handled things a little better. Little Jamie agrees with the doctor because he feels like the doctor expressed how he's been feeling and couldn't express it to his dad. Big Jamie feels that he holds resentments for little Jamie stealing his car and going to jail for stupid stuff. And he don't know why. So the doctor said because of the disappointment with Jamie, it's automatically sends him from one to 1000. Um, he, and big Jamie said he knows he needs to work on his approach and his anger issues. So the doctor said, if you want to be different, you have to do different. So the doctor asked little Jamie, what can he do or what can he get from his dad to make him feel like a better person? So little Jamie says that his dad needs to trust him and that he's growing up, but it's going to take him a little time to become successful. So the doctor asks him, why is he holding back on becoming successful? And Jamie gets quiet. So the doctor said, the only thing holding you back is you, which is the truth. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Like he's holding himself up the block. He's blaming everybody but himself. Okay. So the doctor said, everything starts with you and little Jamie receives it well. So big Jamie lets the doctor know that little Jamie's been sending his mom texts about harming himself. And the doctor wants to know how long ago was the text. Little Jamie told him it was about two months ago. And the doctor was like, that was not that long ago. So the doctor lets little Jamie know that he got into the business because of young men like him. He wants them to know that their lives are valuable. So he lets little Jamie know that, um, excuse me, I got to see what I wrote here, that his life is valuable and wants little Jamie to think about what he's contributed to those moments when he's feeling like he wants to harm himself. And I think that's a great idea because it seems like little Jamie wants to blame everybody else and not look at what he's contributing to the situation. So I think that's a good idea, an assignment for him to do. And I'm also glad that he didn't ask him to reveal what those things were. So that's a good thing. So he offers little Jamie his number when he gets to those moments where he feel like he needs to talk his way through those moments. I feel like it was this was a great first session for Big Jamie and Little Jamie. And even when the doctor um, wanted to talk to Little Jamie by himself and they come out, Big Jamie asked Little Jamie, is he all right? He was just checking on his son to make sure he was all right. So we get to quick ceremony for his street naming. And he gets emotional because he wishes mom and dad was there. He talks about the things he went through when he grew up on that street and everything. So as everybody's celebrating, here goes Sherelle hating because Arena is enjoying herself at this party. Now, mind you, her and her husband said that they're not going to bring it up at this party because it's not the time or place. But Sherelle couldn't help herself. Wrong road. Wrong road. Um, the same way you met with Joy, you could have met with Arena. And not at Quicksilver's event. So Assy is not happy about. Sherelle coming at Arena at this event okay she was like basically it's going to be a bunch of them fighting if he didn't start swinging but anyway Arena owned up to what she said but she also let everybody know that no Joy did not say that but those words that Joy did say mean shady and one thing I can say about Arena, she did not backpedal on what she said 
and they get into a whole big argument at this event and child it was just ridiculous so arena pulled out the diff the her phone and pulled up the definition of shady and started reading it lord jesus i can't anyway that's the end of the scene and child all i could say is it was a whole mess okay a whole mess anyway guys that's all i got like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell for my next video so that you can know when my next video comes out and again i really appreciate you guys for supporting me and watching my videos peace <music>